My name is Melissa Goble and I'm a women's health nurse practitioner at Cuyuna Regional Medical Center. I am a women's health nurse practitioner. I first started with my registered nursing degree. I worked at Cuyuna Regional Medical Center for 12 and a half years prior to becoming a women's health nurse practitioner at CRMC. I was a labor and delivery nurse for 12 and a half years prior to becoming a women's health nurse practitioner. Some of the breast cancer risk factors would include a first degree relative. So if your mom or your sister have had breast cancer, you are at a natural risk to have a higher chance of getting breast cancer. Um, another one would be any type of radiation to your chest. If you've had radiation, you are more at risk for um, breast cancer as well. If you have a personal history of breast cancer, you are also at a higher risk to get a reoccurrence of breast cancer. A lot of it comes down to healthy eating and diet as well, some of those kind of natural risk factors. Also one that we can't help is our gender and our um, age. Those are just natural risk factors. As we get older, we get a higher chance of getting risk factors um, to any type of cancer, but especially breast cancer. Breast cancer is not just associated with women. Um, men can also get breast cancer, but breast cancer is more prominent in women. Pregnancy and breastfeeding also can increase your risk of breast cancer. If you have your first pregnancy after the age of 30, you are at a higher risk of developing breast cancer. Another one is um, your menstrual period. If you got your menstrual period prior to the age of 12, you are at a slightly higher risk of breast cancer. And also if you go through menopause, if you transition through menopause later than 55, you have an increased risk of breast cancer. Some of the preventative measures that women can take to decrease their risk of breast cancer would be eating a healthy diet and exercise. Um, some of the estrogen receptors increase your risk of breast cancer and therefore when we have obese women or overweight women, their estrogen levels typically are a little bit higher because estrogen is stored in the subcutaneous fat. And so therefore you have a higher rate of breast cancer in obese and overweight women. So just naturally eating healthy, diet and exercise, it all comes down to that again. Eating a good healthy diet again is going down to it, um, becoming a risk factor. So if you have high fat diets, a lot of times those patients have a tendency to be overweight or obese again. So eating lots of fruits, vegetables, whole grains again, getting some exercise 30 to 40 minutes per week, you know, on most days of the week is also going to decrease your risk. Tobacco can be an increased risk factor for breast cancer, so if you are a smoker, we do encourage you to try and cut back or even stop smoking. Some of the treatment options for menopausal women who are survivors of breast cancer, there are three different subcategories. There would be a non-hormonal one, hormonal, and then also just some complementary therapies. Some of the non-hormonal treatments that we can provide for patients for who are breast cancer survivors would be uh, lifestyle changes. You know, diet, exercise, again, it's coming down to the healthy eating and exercising most days of the week. Um, another one would be selective serotonin uh, reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs or SNRIs. Um, paroxetine is one of them that we commonly use for hot flashes that is FDA approved to decrease the risk of hot flashes or minimize them as much as we can for postmenopausal women who are breast cancer survivors. Gabapentin and um, clonidine are another one that we can also prescribe for patients who are um, who ha are suffering from hot flashes, then we can decrease that risk or decrease their symptoms with those medications. And then DIVA is another treatment. DIVA is a laser treatment, a vaginal laser treatment that we can do for patients who are breast cancer survivors and who are suffering from what we call dental urinary syndrome of menopause or GSM and also atrophic vaginitis symptoms. The DIVA is a series of three treatments. So that one is a series of three treatments four to six weeks apart. And then the other, the medications, typically we do prescribe them for as long as the patients need it. Sometimes hot flashes can last up to five to 10 years after menopause. And so it kind of depends on how the patient is doing and their symptoms. Some hormonal options are vaginal estrogen creams such as Vagifem. The vaginal estrogen creams are not um, as well absorbed systemically compared to oral estrogen, so it is still safe to take in breast cancer survivors. And then complementary therapies, some of them would be paste respirations, hypnopathy, and then also acupuncture have been shown to decrease patient symptoms as they transition through menopause with hot flashes and um, night sweats potentially. So preventative ways to 
be on top of it and just the preventative care for breast cancer patients, um, not only breast cancer patients, but all patients, all women. We typically recommend um, doing self-breast exams. It's not necessarily that you have to do monthly self-breast exams, but it's being aware of your own breasts and your breast tissue because every woman has different breast tissues. And then also seeing your provider on an annually basis to get a clinical breast exam. If you're over the age of 40, we would recommend a mammogram every year if you have risk factors or at least um, every two years with no risk factors. And then trying to, again, just going back to the lifestyle changes of eating a healthy diet and exercising on a daily basis. Here at CRMC in the Menopause and Healthy Aging Center, there are five providers. We have three OBGYNs, Dr. Michael Katie, Dr. Rachel Katie, and Dr. Christina Kramer. And then there's two women's health nurse practitioners, Donna Claypool and myself. There is no referral needed to come and be seen in our MinCog group. Um, patients are able to just call and make an appointment to see any one of the providers.